Today we're going to take this Filofax planner and upgrade the rings to an inch and a half. Nathan Cox here, thanks for joining us on Around the Home on our craft corner here. Now, normally my wife joins me on these videos here, uh, but today she's very busy. Plus this is more of a just let's just change this out, more of a mechanical you know, type video um, versus the artistic crafty type thing. So that's why uh, she's not here on this one. Huh? So like I said, we're going to take this Filofax uh, planner and we're going to upgrade it. Right, right now the binder and it, the rings are only like one inch. And I think they're actually technically like a seven eighths inch, um, like, a, like, like a 0.8 something. Um, so they're, they're, they're not very big rings, okay? She loves the quality of these Filofax planners. But the only downside is the rings. And a lot of the, the different kits you get from different manufacturers like Coco Daisy and this and that, and you start adding in. If you have more than a month at a time, by the time you put all your special stickers and different little stamps and other things in there. It gets so fat that you can only have one month at a time and she likes to have a little bit more than that. Oh, I'm sorry. I should do a good showing of it like this first, okay? This is a kit made by Stationary Life that's sold uh, on Love Doki through Amazon, okay? And don't worry, I have Amazon links in the description down below. So you can get this exact kit. This is where I got that from. Okay, this exact kit from, and it also helps support the channel and the website and stuff like that if you order those, use those links, okay? Let's do a close up with the other camera. Now, if you guys came from our other video, you noticed that we did change out these rings and we actually stole the rings from another, um, out of another planner from another company. I can't remember which one it was. It doesn't really matter. And you can order, you know, just the basic rings and stuff like that. But then we found, we found this kit on Amazon, which actually makes it easier because in the last video, we actually used rivets and had to use the rivet tools and rehammer the rivets together. This one here uses screws, okay? So that's awesome. Oops, well, one of them just popped out. So when you open it up, everything's packed in this very tight uh, foam package, which is really awesome. Now we got the rose gold color. That's the one, one color my wife really wanted. Okay, it's very pretty. And I've already done one of these kits before. They actually sent me a kit to try out uh, because I put the links on the, on, the, on the old video and I tried it out and before I wanted to make a video of this I went ahead and bought this one with my own money um, so that I could do another an actual video since I already did the other one so we wanted to see how well it worked how easy the install was how the quality of the rings and so far I can tell you I, I love the whole process okay so this is not only an install video but a review video for the stationary life kit uh, which is as you can probably already tell, is already going to get a two thumbs up for me. Uh, it's got everything in here you need. Here's a little hand drill. Now this works for lots of different binders because some of the binders, the uh, the rings are actually inside the vinyl and stuff like that, and you actually have to make a slit in it and then drill new holes. So that's what this is for. And then you have, I think this helps to to clean the hole up. I'm actually not positive. You can check their website for this little tool because they do have a, a picture, step-by-step -step pictures um, when you check uh, on, on the product link there on Amazon um, on that kind. But this is going to be a little bit different with the Filofax, so that's why I'm making this video. And then we've got, here's the little screws. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you the best I can in a second camera. So you got one side that's smooth, one side's got a small Phillips head, which will fit a number one Phillips screwdriver, or even in like a number zero. I think that number one is actually almost a hair too big. Okay, so if you have a number two Phillips, which is the most common size of Phillips screwdriver, that's gonna be too big. So we've got that one there. And then we got another one, of course, because it takes two of these to put it together. And then what they did is they also gave these other ones here, which make it a little bit longer in case you need a longer depth. But I think we're going to use the shorter one for this kit. I can't remember to tell you the truth, but we'll find out here in a second. And then it's also got inside the box. And again, this is for if you have to slit it out of those other folders, not for the, uh, the file of facts. This is, helps to reinforce inside there. Okay. So this kit is great if you have one of the other um, planners where you have to cut it out. Now the file effects, it's, it's riveted right on top. So it's gonna make this removal a little bit easier than some of the other ones. So the only other tools that you need, other than that Phillips screwdriver to, to put this together with, is gonna be a, um, this is a nail set, or a small punch will work. 
and a hammer, okay? So these are rivets right here, and they're pressed together from both sides on the Filofax, okay? Even though both sides are smooth, that is it actually a two-piece rivet, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch through the one on top. So I'm thinking you can see that pretty good in that second camera. Get that centered right there real nice, and uh, let's give it a good whack. So we can punch, we're actually gonna punch through the surface there. Okay, now you see there the, uh, the punch is actually standing up because it was actually punched through the surface of that rivet. And now we're gonna try to, uh, to pull it apart. There we go. I think I've got it. Kind of freaked my dog out there. Okay, so you see, that's the top part of the rivet. And then the back side there, there's the back side poking through. And you wanna make sure that it's not too rough that's gonna tear the leather when you push it through, okay? Um, if it is, actually, I think we will wait on that one there. Well, one more tool I'll grab here in a second. So let's go, because we don't want to tear the leather. Oh, you notice I do add a board here underneath because we're not going to do this right on your table. You do got to give it a pretty good whack to punch through and separate the, uh, the rivets there. So you can't be too shy on that part. Okay. Seven one done. Not quite coming apart yet. <clears throat> this one here doesn't want to cooperate. So we're gonna take our screwdriver and try to pry it apart. Being careful not to tear anything up in the process. get underneath it there we go okay see these are definitely not scripted videos I try to run into the same problems that you guys would all right let me let's go grab a pair of pliers from my garage real quick okay so I just grabbed a pair of pliers from the garage we're gonna do hopefully you can see this well enough try to position this and we're just gonna kind of try to crush the top of that rivet back into itself we're gonna kind of squish it so that there's no jagged parts of it hanging out that's gonna catch the leather. I think that'll push through better now. There we go. And it came out clean. So let's do the same to this one here. So I guess let's add a pair of pliers to that list of tools that we should have. Get that back smooth. Okay, perfect. All right, now this is the, that was the hard part, guys. If you just made it through that, take it like a deep, deep breath and go, oh, okay, boom, because that was the hard part. Everything else from here is super easy. I want to show you side by side now that I've got it out. The original Filofax rings versus the new ones, okay? The size difference is gonna be amazing for you for you ladies that um, just have a lot of thick stuff in, in your planner and you're like, ah, oh, I need bigger rings and it just doesn't fit. I love this, the Filofax is so beautiful. It smells like the beautiful leather. I'm not gonna sniff it like my wife did. She just loves smelling the leather, but that's okay because these are really well-made planners, okay? So we're just gonna put it back in place you know, and this is still the A5 ring, so they line up perfectly. So we're gonna grab the screw pieces, and let's start with the shorter ones, the ones that were already screwed together, because I think those are the ones that are gonna fit. And we're gonna take the smooth side and put that through the, from the back, so that on the outside of the planner, from the outside of the planner, you don't see the little screw head and I thought that this would go through 
without having to make that any bigger, but maybe I remembered wrong. Maybe we do need to use one of these tools. Let's use the little, uh, the little drill screwdriver and kind of clean that out a little bit. Let's do that one more time. That was better. You gotta kinda turn it, turn it clockwise, okay, ready tidy, and then pull up at the same time so it can actually cut. There we go. Okay, well be careful when you poke through there. I just got myself a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so we did need this little drill here to, to open up the holes just a little bit. Righty tighty, we're gonna screw it down where it goes through most of the way and then we're gonna pull it back up as we're turning. Okay, that way it allows the cut not just screw through. Okay, now we're gonna put the other one through. Okay, it's still a little snug, but that's good. You don't want it to be loose. Okay, let's do that one more time. There we go. Okay. And as you can see from the outside of your file of facts, they look they look stock, they look factory. They're, they're clean, cut, beautiful. There's nothing sloppy looking about that at all, okay? Um, and then like I said, those were the shorter ones we're already screwed together. Let's see when we put this together. Get them lined up. Okay. I'm gonna put the uh, screws tops back on. Got our Phillips screwdriver here. Be careful not to, when you start them, we don't want to cross thread them. Make sure they start smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna hold my finger on the back side while I screw this down so it can tighten up. You know what, I better get a smaller screwdriver. Let me get a, a number zero screwdriver. Phillips. Okay, this is a number zero size Phillips. Okay, that's gonna fit that a lot better. So I don't wanna strip that out. Okay, that's good and snug. Okay. And that's good and snug. And uh, we're done. Boom, believe it or not, we are done. And there it is, okay. And it's full glory, the Filofax planner with our upgraded, huh? Inch and a half, I think if you wanna get real technical, I think this is 1.4 inches. So I think everything's probably measured in the metric system. So that's why it's 1.4, not, not one and a half exactly. Okay, but you got 50% more ring size than the original Filofax rings. And it's a very professional fit and finish. All right, so let's go back with the tools that we needed to bring in. So we needed the, uh, the, the thin, slender, straight screwdriver to help to get the rivet out, okay? That was something we needed. The number zero Phillips screwdriver, okay? Um, the number one was still just a little big. We also needed our hammer, our nail set or small punch, okay? and a pair of pliers, and then a wooden board to set this on top of, okay? Unless you're outside at a workbench. Uh, but if you're doing it at your kitchen table, your kitchen counter, get yourself a wooden board, something that's gonna take that hitting, all right? Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys see how easy this is to upgrade. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it's my file of facts. You know, do you know how, much how expensive that is? Okay, the upgrade is easy, it's clean, it's professional looking. 
you know, if you show this off to your friends afterwards, they're not going to think that it was some kind of cheesy aftermarket, you know, snap on kind of a thing, you know, so it still retains its full value and professional look. Uh, but now you've got the bigger rings. So please share this video so others can check it out and do it for themselves. Uh, and while you're doing that, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. Always helps out. And I got hundreds of more videos out there to check out, which if you click on my website link are very well organized. You can actually find them um, depending on what kind of category of videos you're looking for. And then here's a couple extra videos for you guys to check out as well. I'll have a great one.